Hey you guys, it's Lindsay and Abby and today we are here for a fabric haul. I don't know that we've ever done a fabric haul before. No. Actually, I know we haven't because Abby hasn't purchased any fabric in when 10 months. In New York? November? October? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so was... I was trying to be really good and not purchase any fabric until we went to New York again, which we yeah. will next yeah. year sometime. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we, <Exactly>. um, <laughs> we often will shop together even online because we can split the shipping since we live in the same town which is great so abby was looking to make the new megan nielsen pattern the reef pattern mm -hmm. and um, was looking into some tinsel chambray and we know that style maker fabrics has some so she was there and she text messaged me do you want any things and then of course i'm like not thinking about buying any fabric that day but i go on there and she has so many cute things so mm -hmm. it does we were going back and forth what about this to make this and yeah we ended up with a pretty big box yeah, yeah. So we're going to show you what we got and talk a little bit about the plans that we think we have for these Thanks. subject to change because Keyword. you always get your fabric laid out and you're like, no, I don't know, maybe I want to make something else. Or a new pattern comes yeah. out. And... Okay. So we haven't opened the box yet. We just cut open the tapes. So it's excited. been sitting there taunting me. This is heavy. Since yesterday. This is a lot of fabric. fabric. Okay. You want to get his head? Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, dude. Um... Here we go. So, the usual mm -hmm. style maker stuff. She should send more of these. <laughs> if you buy oh, 15 yeah. fabrics, yeah. you need more reference cards. I don't know. I'm not as good as I should be about using those. Oh, fails. somebody got samples. Yes. So this actually, I really love Michelle. She, um, we've often, a couple times we've been looking for something specific and we'll just send her a message on Instagram and like, do you have anything that would be good for this? I know she helped you a lot with shorts. A lot, yeah. So I was looking to make the Inari T dress by Named Patterns and I just really haven't found a fabric for that. And mm -hmm. so we were writing back and forth and these were actually a couple of the fabrics she had suggested to me. So it's really nice now I can see my sample through those palm trees. Yeah, she, she showed me about. this and at first I was like, wow, that's really tropical. We live at the beach so I think it's sometimes hard for us to wear tropical stuff because yeah, it looks like we're on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> um, but ever since she showed me that, I keep seeing They're tropical everywhere. prints yeah. everywhere. Yeah, that's that really, really pretty. pretty. Yeah, I like that. So that's a couple that she is a, um Texture double knit. Yeah, it definitely has Coral texture. and black. Poly lycra. And this is a nice ponty knit. Hefty, so it would be good for that dress. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. I don't know about horizontal stripes on. I like horizontal stripes. Um, okay. I love stripes a lot. Rayon poly lycra. Yeah, that feels really good. And then she was trying to convince me to get this one, but I said it wasn't quite my color scheme. But I thought it was kind of your color yeah, scheme. Yeah, she tried to pawn this one off on me, basically. She's like, don't I you want to make the Inari <laughs> tea out of this? And I'm like, I don't know. Okay, it's actually it pretty. really pretty. Yeah, I would make a top out of it. It's prettier than I thought online. I thought, I don't know, I'm not one for black and darker colors, like the reds, mm -hmm. but I like it. Yeah, it's pretty. I saw the difference getting a swatch in person. Yeah, and she Thank sends you. such big swatches. Yeah. This is what, six inches square probably? Yeah, these. Yeah. yeah, I love the big, big swatches. You made a real idea of the scale of the print too, which is really nice. Very cool. I think all yours are on top. Ooh, yes. So I really was attracted to all the Shibori prints. Mm -hmm. So this was a one, um, it's a lawn, and I actually was asking her about this one too. I was looking for something for the Megan Nielsen wreath, and I asked if she thought this would be good for it. Um, oh. And she said she thought it would be. So this is, it's a lawn, it's a really pretty, is it almost border? No, I don't think it has a border, but it did say that each piece, like I think it's like done by hand, so each piece would be different. Well, that looks a lot different than that. Yeah. So. That was my plan for it, but then, so I made this Colfax dress <laughs> yesterday, and I was kind of thinking that it would be good for that too. Yeah. It'd be good for a lot of things. I really like it. It feels soft. Yeah. Really it's nice. It's wash up nice Yeah. Too. Yeah. I think yeah. it'll soften up when it, when I wash it too. Pretty. So Pretty yeah. color. Pretty we'll color see blue. see what it ends up at, but I so love here's it. Here's its knit neighbor. Yes. Knit cousin. Okay. <laughs> So I got another one. <laughs> and this is a bamboo jersey. Oh my gosh, look how soft it is. Ooh. It's really soft. It feels really drapey. Really, really, really pretty. I love the colors of this one. Yeah. And I saw a dress on Anthropology. Um, it's, it's sleeves and it's a maxi out of, it looks identical. It really it does. Really does. Yes. Yeah. So that's what its plans are. I did get three yards of it. So. I have enough to make a maxi if I change my mind, which I often do, then 
I'll have a little bit left over for a t-shirt. <laughs> That's true. Mine is next. Yours. This is a kind of like just a really fun um, novelty print. They're like, I guess they're on vacation. I don't know. They're sailboats and there's palm trees and like girls in crop tops and skirts with the walking their dog and a little cafe set. I don't know, there's lots of really cute stuff on there. But um, I wanted to make a romper. And my problem with rompers is it's a delicate balance between getting a fabric that's flowy and also finding a fabric that is stable enough or structured enough to for shorts. You know, you don't wanna be walking around um, in something that's just like really too light and things are shaking around or and lumps and bumps too. Yeah. and see through. Yeah, exactly. So typically I would look for a rayon chalet for mm -hmm. um, something kind of flowy and cute like that. But I don't want to do rayon chalet for the bottom of the romper because I don't feel like it's enough. And so this is a different substrate altogether. Um, I can't remember exactly what it is. Maybe it's on here. It is, is it the rayon crepe? Yeah, crepe rayon crepon is what it's called. So I imagine like a crepe rayon mixed together. Neat. So it is, yeah, more um, stable. Mm -hmm. She said it does wash up a little bit softer than this, so it would be more drapey. But um, let's see, it did seem like some light was getting through. I mean, it, there is some light coming through, but it's not horrible mm -hmm. do you think yeah um i think what's it's on your body yeah especially drapey like it's supposed to be i don't know it is really that's fun when i added that i did the order she told me what she wanted when when i added that in for you i was like oh, that's so much fun what, yeah. what can i do with it? yeah I got it myself. it's really kind of it's a novelty print it, but, but done in a very really classy cute. kind of like almost way. kate spade kind of yeah. cute so if it doesn't end up being a romper, it could always be a dress. Yeah. I think it would be a really cute fit and flare dress or mm -hmm. elastic okay. waist dress, whatever. So, um, yeah, so that's the plan with this rayon crepe on novelty print. So exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one is mine. This was a last minute throw in the cart. It was really reasonably priced. It's just a blue and white seersucker. And I was going to try to make an off the shoulder top with it just a simple elastic um maybe to wear with some white pants mm -hmm. white shorts we'll see I, i've seen some seersucker ones really cute on pinterest that i was thinking about trying that for. perfect is this like a it's a shirting yeah um real seersucker though yeah. sometimes you know it'll be just blue and white stripes yeah. and yes. that's true seersucker. technically is not a seersucker yeah but this one was really reason price it feels great feels like good quality yeah i like the shade of the blue yeah we have like a whole box of blue. In Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. So this one must be the tinsel. Which color though? I don't know. Well, I ordered tinsel and then there was a chambray. So that must be chambray and that's tinsel for sure. Feel it has to be the tinsel. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. So Japanese salvage mm -hmm. tinsel shirting in light blue is technically it's what shirting. it's called. It is the softest, most <laughs> drapiest chambray. Yeah, it almost I've feels like seen. butter or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think yeah. I'm going to have to order more of this. What did I get it for? I don't even remember. I think you got it for the off the shoulder dress. Off the shoulder dress, which I made the or other the day. Or the wreath. Were you going to make the wreath out of this? No, I was going to uh, make the wreath out of one, but I think I'm uh, going to buy some more and make the wreath out of this too. How much of it did you get? Two you yards. got four yards. Two of it's yours. Oh. <laughs> what am I going to make out of it? It's No, amazing. I know exactly what I'm going to make out of it. There is a, I think we talked about it in our summer patterns, our go-to summer patterns, but it's just like a boxy top and it has grommets in the, like if it were like this and it has grommets mm -hmm. here. So you can do like the tie-up thing, but I don't know. It's so drapey it's now amazing, that I'm seeing yeah. it. It's really, really drapey. I don't know. See, now that's, that, that's going to be... It'll be hard to decide yeah. to cut in. Yeah. <laughs> but now, I think this would be perfect for the reef. I think I'm going to purchase some more of this before it's gone for a reef set. Mm -hmm. And then make like a dress or a top out of Yeah, because I bet you, because you know the reef is cut on the bias. Yes. And so that it's on the bias rich. will probably drape really beautifully. Yeah, it would. And it's so soft to sleep in that would be really nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. But even the shorts to wear outside as outerwear. Yeah, that's true. Nice too. 
That's true. Okay, so next, this is chambray, and I, this is all mine, right? That's mine. Shoot. <laughs> I didn't make a place in another order. Are you sure? I'm all sure. I got was a tinsel. This is my chambray shirting. Know. Rayon chambray. Rayon chambray shirting. Rayon chambray shirting. That's really nice. It's really crisp. What are you going to get with that? I and mean, what are you going to make with that? I was going to make a top with it. Yeah, one and a half yards. Yeah, I was going to make a top. I don't know what top. I don't have a pattern in mind. <laughs> I just really, I'm obsessed with chambray. Yeah, you can't have too much yeah. chambray. So I don't really have plans. <gasps> I can make a gold pass with it. <laughs> one and a half yards? If you don't do the hem facing, yeah. I could do it. That would be really cute. Yeah, that would be super cute. Yeah, we'll see. We'll Anything see. I choose will be great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next up is this denim shirting stripe, indigo vanilla are the two colors, I and like that. yeah, I think it feels really good. Um, I got it because I've been wanting to do kind of something that will highlight striped fabric. So I've been seeing a lot of people doing like a dress that has princess seams and doing and, and also a center front seam and doing almost like a sham uh, chevron stripe mm -hmm. here and then doing vertical stripes here and then doing the skirt in a horizontal stripe or something to kind of like play with the stripes yeah. a lot so I liked this one because it has a combination of little stripes and mm -hmm. big stripes but in overall it's the same stripe design just different types of stripes yeah that makes I like sense. that a lot so, so and the colors are pretty universal, mm -hmm. pretty neutral. Um, so it wouldn't be like, you know, pink and orange and red, mm -hmm. crazy kaleidoscope right. on your chest. <laughs> um, it would be yeah. sort of neutral. So I'm really excited about this. It feels it so feels really good. nice. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't say and it's, uh, what it's made of. It is like not see through at all. Yeah. It's very, very substantial. Yeah. That's probably the one I'm, I'm most excited about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then the these are I have three more, but this is the end. These yeah. Here. Okay, so this is also kind of another idea I've had in my head for a little while. She has three different sizes of black and white gingham. So she has an eighth of an inch, a quarter inch, and one inch, all black and white gingham. And so I thought it would be cool to mix all of these together in one dress somehow and I don't know if it'll be like a shirt dress where the body of the shirt dress is the one inch and then the collar and the placket are another one I haven't quite sorted out how I would mix them all together yet but I'm thinking about yeah combining all of them and what I love about this is these two are the exact same she told me on Instagram they they feel they're the, mm -hmm. the same make, but this one is actually a little bit softer mm -hmm. and more stable. So it actually makes sense that this would be the body of the dress and the other two would be the mm -hmm. accent yeah. somehow. So we'll see if I can think of something safe, mm -hmm. but still really interesting to do with these. I think it would be a really fun, interesting dress that nobody else, nobody else. would have. I love black and white gingham, so I can't yeah. wait to see what you come up with. Yeah, that should be interesting. And that is it. That's it. That's the end of our oh, haul. Fun. Yeah. It's like a little Christmas morning. I know, and now like and now your mind is just like, yes. oh my god, oh my god, I can't wait to get in the wash I and I really ordered all the same color scheme here. <laughs> and you can tell too it's really hot here because everything is lightweight, so breathable, hot. natural fibers. Yes. We just I mean, cannot escape the heat here no okay. matter what. No. Like, I find myself going to the end of the parking lot just to find shade. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> and then getting the closer <laughs> spot. Yes. Oh, my yes. Yes, it's hot. So, so that was fun. Note. She always writes little notes on the invoices. Says, have fun with these. Can't wait to see what you sew up, Michelle. P.S. I threw in a couple swatches. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that because, honestly, these, these look really good in person. They do. Anyways, um, you remember from my shorts pattern, my shorts fabric video that she had a 5 off 25 coupon code? that's still active and still good until the end of this month till the 31st of July mm -hmm. so if you're interested in any of these fabrics um, you can get five dollars off a $25 purchase and I'll put all that information in the description box below including links to everything that we got mm -hmm. so you can see specifically um, 
tail taking right to the exact fabric that we are talking about, which should be helpful. And she ships super fast. And like I said, super if you have fast. any questions, send her a direct message on um, Instagram or email her. She can answer any question. I We send her pictures of like things we're interested in making and she's so helpful that she can tell you a good fabric for that specific project. Yeah, so. and she knows her inventory really well. And I don't know, she seems to me like she really has a lot of fun doing that too, which mm -hmm. I and mean, it's so. like having another sewing friend yeah. shopping with you. Yeah, it's I don't like feel like having... I'm annoying her. Mm -mm. <laughs> Anyways, okay, that's going to wrap up the haul. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful. Or just like hearing us talk and show about that show <laughs> our fabrics. Um, what else? Subscribe if you haven't already. And follow us on our social media accounts. In we are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Oh, I probably should tell people, we launched a blog, InsideTheHem.com. If you're into like the RSS feeds or any of that, go, you can add InsideTheHem.com to your feed. Very cool. I think that's it. That's it. Okay, see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.